You're a nurse. I've been having these cramps every time I eat, and when I poop, it's diarrhea. Well, tell me where the pain is in your stomach. Uh, it's somewhere here. And you know, my sister, she lost 20 pounds in three weeks. Okay, well, you know, you might have a gastrointestinal disorder. Normally, that is diagnosed with a CAT scan mm -hmm. and a colonoscopy. But don't quote me on that, because I'm a nurse, and I cannot diagnose those kind of problems. But please make sure you go and see your doctor as soon as possible. Well, I'll do that. I'll do that right now. Yeah, so go call them right now. Thank you. Dr. Lee? Hi, this is Christine. I'm calling about my results because you left me a message. Well, hi, Christine. Uh, as we discussed previously about your CAT scan, we saw inflammation and the colonoscopy proves that you have Crohn's disease. This is uh, supported by your lab values showing low hematocrit and hemoglobin levels and you have a high white blood cell count. Um, your, albu your albumin protein levels have decreased also due to you losing so much weight. What do you mean by that? Well, your albumin protein levels are low because it indicates uh, mal malnutrition due to your Crohn's disease. Uh, I would really like you to come into the office so my nurse and I can further discuss your situation, treatment, and your daily lifestyle changes. Thank you, doctor. I'll make an appointment right now. Hello, Christine. Hi. So, um, I just wanted to know, how are you handling your new diagnosis? I'm in shock. I don't know why this happened. No one in my family has this. How did this happen? Okay, this is the area where it's ex affecting you. Uh, they don't know where it comes from or um, how it comes about, but it's uh, more prevalent in people ages 20 to 40, and it's uh, one of two major types of inflammatory uh, bowel disease. It can affect any part of the GI tract, um, and in your case, like I said, it's over here in the ileum. Um, it begins as a small microscopic nest of inflammation that persists and engulfs the lining of the bowel, and it can become ulcerated and the bowel wall can thicken. Um, and if that happens, it, beca it can become narrowed and, uh, or obstructed. And if this occurs, um, surgery may be needed. Uh, since there is frequent bacterial infection re with associated with Crohn's disease, I'm going to be prescribing you two antibiotics, uh, Cipro and Fla Flagyl. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any questions regarding this, medi this medication? Well, well there, if there's no questions, uh, my nurse, Christine, she'll be informing you further about your dietary changes that you have to make with this disease process. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can still live your um, life the way you want it. There um, are just a few restrictions to the disease. Um, there are really no foods you need to um, avoid to you know, injure the bowel, um, but foods like uh, milk products may increase diarrhea and crapping, so you know, you might want to stay away from those or have little as possible. Um, uh, you need to eat a well-balanced diet with adequate protein and calories, uh, and um, stress and anxiety and extreme emotions may aggravate the system, symptoms of the disorder, but are not believed to cause it or make it worse. Do you have any other questions? No.